Will you support legislation to allow concealed carry on college campuses in the state of Iowa? Why or why not? Gresham? Yeah, I, I believe that uh, <clears throat> that they, that people who live on campus um, have the same rights that everybody else in America has. I, I think probably the concealed carry permit is probably more important on campus than anywhere else, so that, uh, so that there is a little bit of screening. I don't, I, I don't think that necessarily it applies to the dorms. I don't think, uh, I think that's, that's uh, college housing and, and they can manage that, but I believe they have uh, Second Amendment rights there too, and I think it would be a, a little bit of a safeguard uh, to some of these shootings that take place. I, I believe that responsible people should be able to carry their weapons on campus so they can defend themselves and other students and faculty. Thank you. Cindy? Well, this is a hot issue at my house because my son has a concealed weapons permit, as does my daughter-in-law. And we have had many, arguing, or many arguments over this subject, but um, while I think it is your right to have your weapon, and I know there's many students who come to the U of I who are hunters who want access to their weapon. Having it locked in your uh, car does not bother me, but as a mother who has, a, and a former student at the U of I, I, I know what the living situations are there, and I would never ever want a gun in the dorms. And the first person who would get sued is you, the taxpayer, if someone got shot on campus accidentally. And on Friday and Saturday nights, I have news for you. There are some really irresponsible people in there, and it may not be the person who came in with the gun. So I don't think that I can sponsor legislation that was just straight that way. It would have to have a lot of provisions in it. Thank you. Jim? Well, I tend to agree with Cindy in that regard to this extent. I do think that um, uh, because our young people um, uh, show irresponsibility in, in some ways, that maybe they would show irresponsibility in that way. But you got to remember that not uh, the university doesn't just consist of, of young people; they consist of older people as well. And so we have to look at what are their rights as law-abiding citizens and as fully mature adults. So what I would suggest is uh, as some kind of a compromise and to look at the university more as a municipal power and leave it to the respective muni uh, municipal power of the university itself decide whether it wants to uh, be a gun-free campus or not. And you would do that um, through uh, the various uh, representatives of various departments and perhaps representatives from the student senate body and making a decision with respect to the university. That's how I see it at this point. And again, you know, one of my ideas of running for office is to listen. And so I'll listen. I'm supposed to stop. Thank you. Ken? I would support the, the right of uh, students and faculty and whatnot to, to carry um, uh, firearms on campus, but I'm also a strong believer in local control, and so I'm going to sort of agree with my Democratic co cohort here on one particular issue, and that is you folks are going to be electing a sheriff, and your sheriff is your chief law enforcement officer in your county, and uh, while I would support the general right to keep and bear arms on campus. I would not presume to know the environment on every campus throughout the state of Idaho. I think that's more uh, the under the direct knowledge and supervision of your local county sheriff. So while I would support the right, I would also, I'm also a firm believer in local control, and I would let that decision be up to the local county sheriff. Thank you. Next question. 